This video is sponsored by Friendly TV. With over 40 channels, many of them showing your favorite classic TV shows, Friendly TV is the low-cost streaming service for those of us who remember when television was truly special. I've added a link to Friendly TV in the description section of this video. When you use it to try it out free for 7 days, you will also be supporting this channel. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is pop culture historian Dave Sundstrom and today I am going to share a pretty darn scary story involving actress Nancy McKeon. But before I do that, let me just talk for a minute about Nancy's career. She's best known for playing Tomboy Joe on the classic TV sitcom The Facts of Life. Now, Nancy practically grew up in the spotlight. She started modeling for things like Sears catalogs at the tender age of two, and as she got older, modeling opportunities started presenting themselves to her even more frequently, and before she knew it, she was appearing in television commercials and even landing roles on soap operas. And then when she turned 13, things got even more exciting. Her brother Philip landed the role of Tommy on the popular sitcom Alice, and this prompted the whole family to pack their bags and head west to sunny Los Angeles, and it was there where she landed the role that would change her life. Now anyone who has watched that sitcom knows that Joe wasn't your average teenager. She was witty, independent, and always quick with a sarcastic remark. And Nancy perfectly captured Joe's spirit, making her a fan favorite. And get this, at just 17 years old, Nancy's success allowed her to buy a house in the Hollywood Hills. And believe it or not, she invited her entire family to move in with her. Now, you're probably thinking what I'm thinking. I'm not sure that that is what I would do if I bought a new house, even at that young age. But Nancy also shared this. She said, I hardly ever saw them. As a matter of fact, I'd go home and no one's ever there. And I'm always thinking, where is everybody? You know, here I am in this giant house still sitting at a kitchen table eating soup by myself. While Nancy's home life might have been a little bit quieter than she had expected, things were certainly lively on the set of The Facts of Life. Nancy and her co-stars Lisa Welchel, Mindy Cohn, and Kim Fields formed a really strong bond, even though there were at times moments when they all had to tread a bit lightly with each other. After six seasons of working on the show, Nancy said this, You learn to know when someone's in a bad mood. You leave them alone or you try to make them laugh or do something to really, really annoy them further. <laughs> that sounds like something Joe would say. All right, enough beating around the bush. Let's get to the reason why you clicked on this video. Unfortunately, not all fan interactions over the years have been positive. Nancy recounted one really scary encounter that happened one evening after she had finished taping The Facts of Life when she was accosted by a man while walking out to the studio parking lot. Racing up to her, the stranger at first demanded a kiss goodbye, saying that he was leaving town. And when it was clear that that wasn't going to fly with Nancy, he sheepishly told her that he'd settle for a hug. However, when Nancy reluctantly leaned in for a light embrace, he pulled her to him tightly and told her that when he returned, they were going to get together and go out on the town. Now keep in mind, this was a total stranger. Fear surged through her body. This wasn't a friendly fan. She could tell this was something very different. The man's words promising to return to her sent chills down her spine. She looked around to see if there was anyone else nearby and unfortunately, there was no one around to help. Panic started to set in. Quite frankly, Nancy was scared out of her mind. By this point, Nancy recalls, I'm shaking. I'm looking around for the guard and there's nobody around. It was really like something out of the twilight zone. Finally, Nancy sensed that the man's grip was loosening just a bit and she was able to pull away from him and run as fast as she could to her car. Fumbling with her keys, the few seconds that it took to open her locked car door seemed like an eternity because she was so nervous. I was scared to death, she confessed. Fortunately for Nancy, her mystery man never returned to fulfill his promise. Or, let's be real folks, his threat. 
You know, there are those who are going to question the truthfulness of this story. And I don't know what I was thinking. Let me just go ahead and let Nancy tell the story herself. After taping the show one evening, Nancy was accosted by a man in the deserted parking lot next to the studio. And he said, Nancy, and he grabbed my arm. And I said, look, I really have to go. Excuse me. And he said, no, I, I'm leaving. And I, and I have to tell you, I have to, you know, I have to give you a kiss goodbye. And, and, I, and we'll get together and we'll go out when I come back. And he... He, was, he kept talking, and I said, I, I gotta go, and he said, no, give me a hug, so I said, okay, quick hug, and then run for your car, and, you know, I went, and I kind of gave him a little hug, and he wouldn't let me go, so finally, I just took him loose, and I, and I just ran to my car, and I got in, and I locked the doors, and I never pulled out of a, a lot so fast in my life, I was, I was scared to death, and that's the one thing that can be very scary, and, um, and I never want that to happen again. You know, there are a lot of perks to being a celebrity, but there's also a really dark side. Supporting channel member Scott Smith, also known as Synth Music World here on YouTube, who's had access to this video for a couple of days now, said this about Nancy's experience. There's a psychological term for this familiarity that people feel with celebrities, really anyone from film, television, or even content creators on platforms like YouTube. It's called parasocial relationship. This is a one-sided relationship where a person extends emotion and time to someone and begins to feel like they know that individual on a deep level. This even applies to fictional characters from literature. I can't imagine being a public figure and having to deal with fans in the grips of a parasocial relationship with me. I can't either, Scott, but it sounds like it could be really terrifying. Thankfully, Nancy's career did not end that day, or even when the facts of life finally ended. She went on to star in a number of different television movies, tackling a variety of characters which showcased her dramatic range. During the mid-90s, Nancy starred in the CBS sitcom Can't Hurry Love, which was strangely canceled after just one season, despite having some pretty darn good ratings for the year. I'll never understand network executives. They are truly a mystery to me. Beyond acting, Nancy even tried her hand at directing, helming a couple of episodes of another show that she co-starred in, The Division. It's clear that Nancy is a multi-talented artist who continues to explore her creativity in new and different ways. In 2003, Nancy tied the knot with a feller named Mark Andrus, who she had met almost a decade earlier on the set of a Hallmark movie that she had worked on called A Mother's Gift. Shortly after getting married, Nancy and Mark moved to Texas, where together they have raised their two daughters out of the spotlight and the prying eyes of the paparazzi and social media. From her early days in modeling to her iconic role on The Facts of Life, Nancy has carved her own path in the entertainment industry. So whether you remember her as Joe or have followed her career beyond The Facts of Life, one thing is clear, Nancy McKeon is a force to be reckoned with. Hey, thanks for joining me on this trip down memory lane. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to click on that little thumbs up icon. Maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly TV from decades gone by. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching. And now, this message. and I'll be right back with one to grow on. What? <laughs> Watch. Oh, here comes a nerd. Can I play? Who is him, Bob? Why don't you go catch some of your butterflies or something? <laughs> this is a serious game. <laughs> so Bobby's an oddball, right? Wrong. It's funny, but believe it or not, some people have thought I was strange. But once they got to know me, they realized I wasn't. You see, it goes back to that old saying, you don't really know someone until you know someone. People have a way of surprising you, if you give them a chance. Aw, uh, come on, guys. What have we got to lose? Hey, Bobby! Hey! I didn't know I could shoot like that! My team! Come on! 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 Come on!
and that's one to grow on.